Hello guys and very welcome to my channel and to this video. I finally have my Sulax running on autopilot. So no, I don't have to charge or discharge my battery manually. My microcomputer over here will take care of all of that work. And I have to say that it feels pretty strange because I have been doing this now for what can it be, eight months or something? So it's a little bit uh, hard to let it go. But now I have to watch in my app and see what this microcomputer is doing with my Sulax. And the communication between those two are of course Modbus. But there is one more important thing here, and that is that this little microcomputer are of course hooked up to my network, and then the Swedish power grid or uh, Svenska Kraftnet are controlling this inverter in the end. And uh, that's frequency regulation, so when the frequency in the grid there tends to go under 50 Hz, my inverter will then sell out some energy to the grid. And how much? It depends on what the Swedish power grid or Svenska Kraftnet are demanding for. And this uh, inverter is not alone by doing this, I mean, <laughs> There, was, there is a lot of inverters out there with other batteries. But in my case, it's a little special because I have made my battery myself. And that was pretty much the biggest problem here, because then I did not have any state of charge. Because I run this Sulax in lead acid mode. And when you are doing that, you don't have any state of charge put out from the BMS. So I was spending some hours there together with my computer and just searched the net for some kind of conversion tool that I could put into this microcomputer that will convert my voltage to a state of charge value instead. And finally I was able to do that. I found a code and just changed the voltage values inside of it. And then I sent that to my installer and he put that into my microcomputer and there we had it. State of charge was showing up. And then the system finally can start to work. So that was the biggest problem of everything here. Because I thought that when I just had this microcomputer, I was up and running in only maybe two days or something. But it took two months instead. But however, this frequency balancing is the most important thing in my system right now. Because the energy prices seems to be the same. The nighttime or the daytime, it doesn't matter. We have the same prices at the moment. And uh, therefore, I cannot do so much money or I am not earning money on this. I am trying to have my energy that I am using for free. And uh, right now the sun is shining, so I don't have to charge my battery from the grid. So for me and right now, it's uh, completely okay. But later on, uh, when the winter is coming, I need to do this charging during the night time and, and hopefully the energy prices will be low then and also be a little higher during the day so I can sell the excessive power that I have in my battery out to the grid just to compensate for that energy that I am buying that night. My god, I am uh, talking a lot here, sorry. But however, let's go back to this frequency balancing and uh, as I told you there, when the frequency tends to go down a little bit, my inverter will start to send power out to the grid and then when the energy, or I mean, when the frequency tends to raise a little bit over 50 Hz, then my inverter starts to charge my battery and trying to hold down the frequency there to a perfect 50 Hz. So that's the whole idea here. All right, let's leave the basement and go up in the living room and uh, take a look at this app in this home assistant system that I know are running so I don't have to use Sulax Cloud anymore. So here is how it looks. Okay, here we have my system and uh, as you can see we are in the middle of the day here so my system is producing as much as it can right now. And uh, my panel is producing 9.6 kW and uh, 7 kW is going into my house. I am now charging my car. And then 2.1 kW is going into the battery and around 200 watts is going out to the grid there. 
And here's the prices for this hour. Uh, this is the import price and here is the export price. And here is the prices during the whole day. And as you can see, we have the same prices almost. So there is no mean to sell or charge uh, from the battery. That will actually cost me more than I uh, can earn on it. So let's go down here a little bit. And um, here we have some settings. And here you can see the frequency balancing up and down. How many times that has been done. And here is also my consumption graph. So I can see that during this day. And uh, this is the energy that I have pulled down from the grid. And I accidentally hit the charge button there. So I did charge a few watt hours into the battery. So that's why we have 0.2 there. And let's move on here and take a look at the other page. So here are the settings when my battery are going to charge and the discharge and also to which price that should be done. My state of charge settings and some quick buttons here. But I will not change anything here because uh, everything is going on out to here. So let's take a look at the other one or other side here. So here is a gauge for uh, my uh, power consumption and everything on the green side is produced from my panels or my battery. And the red side is of course from the grid. And then we have my uh, state of charge gauge here and I am so proud of this and so happy that this is finally showing up here. So without this, this automation will not uh, work at all. And here I have the maximum charge current and discharge current and it can be set up to 30 amps at maximum or as maximum. And then we have my solar string or solar panels, the string on my mountain and this is a string on my roof. So here is 7.4 kvp and this on my roof is only 4.50 kvp. And here's a nice graph. So this is yesterday and this is today. So my panels on the roof or my panels on the mountain, the panels on the roof and we have the solar curve and we have the total curve. So mountain, roof, predicted curve and the total curve. Really easy and great to see. I really love this one. So here we have my battery, 461 volts, 5.5 amps and the charging right now with around 2.5 kilowatt there. And some other numbers from my inverter. Let's take a look at the energy prices for today. This is the buying price and this is the selling price. And after one o'clock, that's pretty soon actually, we will have the numbers for the next following 24 hours. So they will show up in any minute now. And we have the grid parameters. I just showing you guys. And then we have the settings here. So that's pretty much it. I'm so happy to finally have this in working order. So uh, it will be interesting to see how everything will work later on. I will do more videos about this later on to see how everything is working or to show you guys how everything is working. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that already and then I maybe see you next time. Take care and goodbye.